since I've done a ball joint on an 07 Seabreen. So, this should be interesting. Oh, these are all swollen, so we're gonna need a 20 mil. rusted at all. Okay. <sighs> better way to spend your Labor Day than to work on a car. That's exactly what I want to do on my Labor Day. Duh. Uh, I suppose we should probably just take that off right away. Let's set as low as 13s. Wired off. I'll do that right away. Attempt it because it will break. Okay, I'm going 
disconnect that ABS speed sensor. Try to get you guys a shot here. to the fender well. Okay. There now, we don't have to worry about breaking the speed sensor. that a few days ago on all of them kind of prepped it but it's rusty but it's not that bad I've seen way worse this is actually pretty good for the mileage right away. ball joint next just loosen him up I can't go nowhere but uh, we're gonna loosen this up if we have to we'll get a, a fork on it but I don't think we will
There it went. Okay. We'll get these. Good strut. Twenty one. Feels like it. All right. Hand them out of there. Works for me. First, I tried my eyes off. Yep. And it weren't. I'm like, what the fuck? So then I'm like, I've got my tool, you know? So I put the fucking DS on it, go in there, into do the crank reworn. Same thing. I'm like, what the fuck? So then I go to SDS to reprogram, you know, for set up the yep. ECM and did it. Man, it went. <laughs> that is like the first thing I always do with it. Especially if you don't feel it missing early. Well, it just seems like they, I don't know, they must get out of sync or something. Something, yeah. Because I've had a couple of them that. Especially on like the little uh, 1.5s. They'll do that too. They'll mm -hmm. fucking step into them and all of a sudden the fucker will be going in the fucking reduced engine power yeah. and all that shit. And you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, I got the right injector or whatever, so I swapped the shit around and yeah, so missed and filed my bolt. And then I did that compression test with the Eagle Scope or whatever the fuck. Oh yeah, that cylinder fucking more at 67% while the rest of them are out of 90. So I'm like, oh, there's something fucking cannons might guess, but tear it up, tear it apart, figure it out. Which cylinder was that? Five. Oh, imagine that. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, can't win. Nope. Is too, it's like even if you do do a compression test and they have a bad lifter, sometimes you won't even see it then. Oh, yeah, exactly. And it's like, I, I think the only way you're really going to ever be able to see it is maybe do like an in cylinder, mm -hmm. but then you would have to have a known good and your overlay, and even that's hard to see. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. So, it looks like this ball joint's been done before. And looks like the uh, boot got a little torn up. So that's why we're replacing it. The other side was pretty much wasted. I did that one, I don't know, a few weeks back and I just never, didn't have the motivation to do this side. Now I do, I guess. Uh, let's get this snap ring out. Oh, 
hopefully it hopefully it moves. <laughs> no. I don't know why I tried. Alright. Get this. carried away let's take this heat shield off heat shield let's take the backing plate off for the brakes so give us a little bit more maneuverability here that Cirque. Before we put the new one in, we'll mark where that grease cirque stops on the new one so we can make sure that it's going to be facing, you know, towards the inside so it's it, we're able to actually grease it. It'll make sense. Get our ball joint press here. ball joint Amazon special nothing but the best quality okay and like I was saying We're gonna put the grease cirque in all the way before we drive it in. And we'll snug it, Oop, wrong size. <clears throat> so I'll snug it up till it's snug, like that. Take a paint marker. Just gonna put a line here so we know where to center it. Take this earth back out, and we're gonna, need, we're gonna need something to press this in. So let me grab some cups. If you're looking for a cheap deal, ATD. Makes a pretty good little kit. Random cups. That one should do. 
Make sure it gets around that boot so we ain't pinching it. Nope. Maybe this one. That's the one right there. Okay. Let's line her up like so. Let's flip it around. Like this. So, pretty much right there. to it. Put our snap ring on. For what it's worth. And this is basically just in case she were to come out, but they're pressed in there pretty damn good. Okay. Put our greaser in. My fingers aren't working today. Oh my goodness, come on. Okay, slide it down, and it's okay if they're angled forward a little bit. We're going to hit her with a lot of grease right away before we install it. It's really full of grease right now, so we're gonna squeeze out. And I'm just gonna rotate the ball joint a little bit to work the grease in there. The reason I'm doing it before I put it on is once we clamp this down, um, it's gonna, when they're dry, they're, they're kinda hard to get grease into. But what you wanna do, at least this is what I do, is kinda squeeze out all that excess. <clears throat> so it doesn't wreck your boot when you tighten her down. I'd rather have more in there right now so that I know that it's good and greased. So I'm just kind of working the boot. There we go, that's better. And then just make sure the boot stays clamped up at the top here. Excess off. We'll leave a little on there because she's rusty. A little rust prevention. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. Close them on the studs. Okay. That's pretty much it. Reinstall now. We'll clean these all up and clean the hub surface up we put it back in. Give her a shot of some fluid film, I suppose, eh? Now let it soak in.
Backing plate back on. Oh, where did the screws go? There's one. sitting a while so a little uh, fluid come on there to kind of soak in prevent the crusties a little bit um, I suppose these hold downs for the hold downs for the uh, ABS wire uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna cut them off put a new zip tie in there this hold down. So we'll snip that. Hey. What? Over here. Okay. All right. Just hold on. There, now we got a spot to, we got a new zip tie for ABS wire. Let's put her back in the car. All right, so let's go ahead and put this put a new zip tie in right here on this hold down. Slipper axle back in. Twenty ones. And she's going to spin. CBS wiring back.
actually didn't go too bad for as many miles as this thing's got on it. And this guy clips right here. Snip them off. Wipe the oil off of it. That worked. And rod back in. <clears throat> we'll put a new cotter pin in. That other one was all jacked up. Put a lower ball joint a castle nut on. <laughs> on that. I suppose I better look at the torque spec for that here in a second. Let's reinstall our caliper. And we'll put a dab of uh, Loctite on them. Caliper bracket bolts. For what it's worth. I think those are 18s, right? back. Right, now we gotta put these back on. Get that one in. These ones basically go like meow. on the axle nut, put our collar pins in. Look that torque spec up on the axle nut. Uh, it's looking like 118 foot pounds. Enough for me.
bring your torque wrench down to 100 for the lug nuts right away. Let's put our cotter pins in the ball joint castle and the tie rod castle. Okay, and make sure we can grease it. Is that everything? That's everything. Let's take a look here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Not that you guys have never seen it before, but so you got a pin on that tie rod. I put them sway links in when I did the other ball joint on the other side. We gotta hook that ABS wire back up too. And our new ball joint. All right. And then you can see what I was talking about on that grease irk. You just want to make sure that you got access to it. And I'll throw our wheel back on. And you should align it, but we're not going to because. I'm going to be back in here doing axles anyways. When I get the parts for it, I'll do the CV axles. I'll, um, I'll line it then. I might throw some inner and new inner tie rods and outer tie rods on it too right away. And just so everything moves nice because I'm sure they're, they're stuck. And I don't feel like torching the hell out of them. And, having them be loose anyways afterwards so it's <clears throat> really just time swollen lug nuts Do it. 